Hey guys, this is Chubbs, and today I've got another Doom Builder tutorial, finally. I know it's been a long time. This one's actually going to focus on creating lifts. They're relatively simple, but I've had some people ask me how to do it. So I'm going to show you how. What I've created here is just a square room. I'm going to show you what it's made of. Down here is the player start. And up here, this small square is going to be the lift. And this rectangular sector is going to be a platform that's too high for the player to reach by jumping or anything like that. So the lift will actually bring the player up to it. So let's first make sure that we have all this set up correctly by going into 3D mode. And what I'm going to do is increase the lighting a bit so you can see a little bit better here. And yeah, this should be bright enough. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to raise the ceiling for all of my sectors here so that the ceilings are even. And so, as you can see there, that is actually the, this is going to be the, the lift right there. And this is going to be the sector that, or the rectangular platform that the lift will take you up to. So let's first go ahead and give some textures to this. I'm not going to spend any time doing this because, uh, or trying to make it look good because again, like I mentioned all the time, it's just a tutorial. What we're also going to do, keep in mind that as the lift goes down, notice that on the back side of this platform, there's no texture assigned. You don't want that because you're going to get a hall of mirrors effect every time the lift goes down so always make sure when you make a lift that you bring it down and you assign a texture to that back side there then once you're done just raise the lift right back up so that's all you have to do to create the sectors so let's now create the actions so go back into regular mode by pressing W and in this case instead of using a switch let's just use a walkover line that you'll walk over and will cause the lift to go down so the easiest way in my opinion to do this is uh, uh, one way you can do it is just double click here at any point then just drag and click once more anywhere and it's gonna do this like you're gonna it acts like you're gonna connect another point but just right click and you just have one line there so press V as in Victor to go into vertices mode. Drag the vertices onto the wall so that right here you can drag it anywhere. Just make sure it's a, like a tripwire that the player can't get past and make it to the lift. And there we go. So as you can see, the, that little tripwire or the walkover line crosses here. So there's no way the player can reach the lift without walking over it. That's what you want. So go back into line mode. Let's go ahead and flip that line so the peg is facing towards where the player will be walking over. As you can see that peg in the middle. And right click that line. Give it a sector tag of 1. And click OK. Then go into sector mode and give the lift sector, which is the square, a sector tag of 1. All you got to do is right click it. Just give it a sector tag of 1. and you're done with the tags. Now all you got to do is go to the line, right click the the walkover line, give it click select action, uh, ex click the plus sign next to lift and just since it's going to be a walkover line you're going to make sure it says W which means walkover and we want it to happen over and over again so make sure it's WR as in walkover re repeatable and just either one of these will work actually. Lift, lower weight, raise, and lift, lower weight, raise fast. The the ladder just makes it go faster. Uh, so I'm just going to select that since it's fast. Click OK. Click OK again. And when you hover over the line, it should make that sector highlight in yellow, as you can see. That, that shows that they're connected. And believe it or not, that's pretty much all you got to do, period. So... This is what it should look like in game. Before this video comes to an end, I would just like to take a quick second to thank all of my subscribers. 
and especially those Doom fans and everyone who's been asking questions. And I apologize for not creating as many videos as I probably should have. I've been busy lately. But I hope to get back in full swing when I have everything sorted out here. And thanks for keeping faith in me and watching all the videos. And hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you.